Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are looking at our uh, math journals, page 41. We are in Unit 2, Lesson 4, Finding Multiples. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is a multiple, Mr. Wasserman? Well, simply put, if you can skip count, uh, then you know what multiples are, okay? Because a multiple is basically uh, a product of a number and a counting number. Uh, for example, if I were to skip count by fours, okay, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, all right? I'm just adding 4 to the previous number, uh, and that is giving me the next number in my skip counting sequence. So when I am thinking about multiples, uh, what I'm doing is, if I was skip counting by fours, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. What I'm really doing here is I'm just adding a 4 to the previous number, and that gets me to my next number, like so. So 4 plus 4 gives me 8. 8 plus 4 gives me 12. 12 plus 4 gives me 16, and so on. So when I'm skip counting by 4s, I'm just adding up a 4 to the previous number. That's also multiplication, friends, because if I think about 16, okay, right here, 16 is the product of 1, 2, 3, 4, fours. okay? So if I were to add 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 4 together, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16. That is 4 groups of 4, or 16 equals 4 times 4. So, friends, when we're talking about multiples, I just want you to keep in mind what we're really doing here is we are skip counting. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of these problems. It says, this is the first five multiples of ten. Well, if you can count by ones, then you can certainly count by tens. Uh, the first five numbers, when skip counting by ones, are one, two, three, four, five. And, of course, ten is just ten ones grouped together in a convenient package. So if I'm skip counting by tens, it's actually ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50. Let's put some commas in there to separate those numbers, okay? So basically, friends, when I am listing multiples, I'm just skip counting. So the first 10 multiples of 6. Now, you may or may not know all of your 6 uh, uh, times tables yet, but if you can add 6 to a number, then you can find the multiples. So let's give her a shot. So 6... The first number in that sequence is going to be 6. Then when I add 6 to that number, 6 plus 6 is 12. Now, if you don't know what uh, would come next, all you'd have to do is just add 6 to that number. 12 plus 6 is going to give me 18. And then 18 plus 6 more is going to give me 24. And then you're going to just continue that pattern by adding 6 to the last number you were at. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and then 60. 60, of course, is... 10 groups of 6. So we've hit our target of listing the first 10 multiples. Okay? So let's take a look at another problem. Uh, look at number 6. The numbers 15, 25, and 40 are all multiples of blank. Okay? So you've got to ask yourself, what do these three numbers have in common? Okay? Well, any number that ends in a 0 has... 10 as a common factor, okay? 
or as a multiple of 10. Uh, but these other two numbers don't end in 0, so that means 10 is not uh, a factor, or that these are not multiples of 10. But, you, as you can see, they end in 5s, and both 5s and 0 ending numbers are multiples of 5. Okay, So anytime you see a number ending in a 5 or a 0, you know that 5 is involved. So these are all multiples of 5. Okay? So if you can skip count, you can figure out multiples or solve these problems of uh, determining the multiples of a number. Okay? Let's do one more. Let's take a look at this table at number 10. It says list all the factors of 12. List the multiples through 12 of each factor. Okay? So when we were thinking of factor pairs in the previous lesson, uh, we wanted to know all the different ways we can multiply two numbers together to get to 12. So let's think about that for a second. Okay? Uh, I know that 1 times 12 gives me 12. I also know that 2 times 6 gives me 12. I also know that 3 times 4 gives me 12 as well. So, these are my six factors. Okay, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Okay, so now it says, list the multiples through 12 of each factor. Okay, so what I'm being asked to do here is skip count by the factor, the numbers in this column, right here, till I hit 12. Okay, so list the factors of 12, and list the multiples through 12 of each factor. So, if I'm skip counting by 1's, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you get it, I'm just counting by 1's. Until I get to 12. Okay? Now, when I skip count by 2's, or list the multiples of 2's, until I get to 12, I'm only going to list every other number that I did in the previous one. 2, 4, 6, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Now, when I do the same for 3, okay, I'm going to start at the 3 right here, and then I'm going to add 3 to 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. And then 9 plus 3 is 12. Okay. So you're noticing as my numbers increase in size, the number of multiples decreases, okay? So number four, uh, if I skip count by fours, I'm going to start with the number four. Oh, well, let's pick a different color. Four. The next one would be eight, because four plus four is eight. And then eight plus four, as we discussed over here, is twelve. So, whereas multiples of 1 is having you count 1 through 12. Multiples of 4 is having you skip count by 4s, and you get to 12 a lot faster. Okay? Go ahead and finish the last two rows for this problem. Try the rest of these problems uh, on this page, and if uh, you have any issues, reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.